bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Come on. I'm really stoked for this video. U.S. Navy veteran reacts to Battlefield 3 aircraft carrier scene. Now, I have to give a huge shout out to... Ah, uh, what's this? Uh... Huge shout out though to Diego Shook is his Instagram name. Diego Torres, he's the one that pointed me towards this video. Let's get right to this reaction video. Social media is below as always, and make sure you guys leave a thick like and subscribe because we're on the road to 100K poppies. We just got raised to alert one. Plans have changed. We're launching now. Let's stop. Let's stop it right here. All right, so we said an alert one. So there are things called, uh, there is a thing called an alert five. So I was actually involved in several alerts, alert fives, when we were in the Middle East and in the Straits of Hormuz um, with our squadrons. Now the pilot would already be in the F-18. He'd be in the cockpit, ready to go. Um, they're not gonna be standing around talking about, oh hey, there's an alert, like let's, let's start walking. Like no, like you're already in the cockpit, you're ready for them to say, all right, let's go launch now. CAG says we're special today. CAG. We're not on station for some Car whiskey delta ground support. Carrier Air Group. Dask is going to fill us in airborne, but we are flying a strike mission over Tehran into Marabad Airport. The P ways. The has sat images. They think they know where the, the ceilings are a little too tall. They're not that tall. So, um, get your fangs out, Hawkins. Because I would always, you know, I'd almost to touch the ceilings, bro, on the carrier. And I'm 6'4. Ladder well. Now this is right. You all never look up when you're going up a ladder well because you're just gonna stare at the dude's ass in There's front of you. In the air and so they got that right. Okay, and we're headed out onto headed out onto the catwalk. Up another ladder well. Alright, now let's He doesn't have his cranial on or his helmet on. Alright, let's stop it right here. Alright, so during flight operations. There is no way in hell you are going up on the flight deck without your hearing protection, your cranial, or your helmet already on. You're not just going to casually stroll up there and, hey, it's an alert. Um, you know, it's an alert five or an alert one is what they called it. And we're just going to walk up to the bird. Uh, no, no cranial or anything. Flight deck is, you know, fully operating, but it's fine, dude. Let's just stroll. But they got the catwalks right. This looks all pretty good. Uh, looks like they're going to be launching off catapults three and four. Um, and what else is there to see? This is good graphics. Yeah, there's F-18s flying by, dude. And no hearing protection, dude. This dude's eardrums are shot. Then we got yellow shirts. And we got the ABEs, ABHs. So you see how the F-18 is already on the catapult waiting for the pilot? Because if it was a true emergency, the, the jets and F-18s aren't just sitting there on the cats. They're parked in certain spots, like in the six pack, on the bow, on the fantail. They have their certain parking spots. And the ABHs and the yellow shirts that you see are then going to direct the pilot while he's in the aircraft. And he's going to taxi himself into the position to launch. But I like the they got the yellow shirt right there, dude. He's climbing up. Um, normally, that would be a brown brown shirt normally that's going to be a plane captain though it's going to be a, a squadron member that's attached to that f-18 put down the canopy put down the canopy dude let's look around hold on let's stop we just saw that helicopter fly by all right we got an ao we got the jbds to the right the jet blast deflectors that's all right so we're on catapults three and four looks like we got the final checkers cvn 77 Nice. Now, right here, we, they don't have any helicopters in the helo hole. Normally, there should be birds that are parked in there. There's also usually greyhounds or hawkeyes that are parked um, behind the island or next to the island. So, you know, we're, we're just getting, just being picky, but it's it's pretty accurate. I ain't gonna lie. Flaps and stabs, they're doing all their final checks. So they're gonna move around all of the, the freaking, uh, there you go, see they're all moving around right now. That's what the final checkers are looking at. For any leaks, anything wrong, they're the last ones to check that stuff, man. All the stabs, they're moving everything around like crazy. Got a green light up front. Switch 
I like to compare this launch to the launch that my friend did. He has his GoPro in the cockpit with him. But now we're just waiting for the ABH, man. Waiting for the ABH to shoot him. So the pilot gave him this. ABH is gonna give him this. And they're all gonna give thumbs up. Let's go, boy. Shoot it. Shoot it. The guy on the right side. Boom, baby. There it is. Launch that first. It's sick. Dude, Battlefield 3, this is nice. This is nice, dude. That was pretty cool. Like I said, most of that is fairly accurate. There were some uh, discrepan discrepancies when at the very beginning they were walking through the P-ways. Um, they had, you know, the ceiling heights are not that high. They're actually very, very low, close to you. That was funny though. They freaking nailed the ladder wells when you're walking up a ladder when someone's in front of you. Like I said, never just look up because you're either going to hit your head or you're just staring at some dude's gooty hole. You just keep your head down, look at the stairs in front of you, bro. And then, of course, you're never gonna walk up on the flight deck without hearing protection, especially during flight operations and an alert. Um, most of the time, though, like I said, during an alert five, we're gonna be like going through the Straits of Hormuz. We know that is a combat potential area, so the pilots are already gonna be ready sitting inside the bird. And if the pilots aren't inside the bird, they're gonna be going up onto the flight deck through the island. They're not, so that's on the starboard side of the ship. They showed these guys walking up on the port side. So they're gonna be walking through the island and coming out through the helo hold, um, which is the starboard side, or potentially the, the bomb farm area. But it's pretty accurate, not, not a bad clip. All right, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like I said, we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Um, I gotta go get some sleep. My son is seven days old. He is just doing great. My wife is feeling a lot better. Um, we probably are only getting like an hour or two at most a sl um, of sleep per night since he was born. So it said sleep deprivation. I thought it was going to be like when I was deployed, but this is a whole nother animal. Because at least when you're out at sea, you're getting like, you know, three, four hours consecutive on the bad days. You're sleeping three, four hours, but this is like, if you're, uh, we're lucky, we're going like an hour. Because this dude is just like waking up, eating, pooping, sleeping, try to put him back to sleep. He fusses, wants to eat again, then he poops again. And it's like, it's called cluster feeding or something, like a cluster bomb. Dude, it reminds me of a cluster bomb. Isn't that like uh, in Call of Duty? I don't freaking know. I'll see you guys racing Brennan videos almost every day. Good boy!